In today's video, I'm going to break down the brand new official cinematic trailer for Hogwarts Legacy. Believe it or not, we're less than three weeks away from launch, which is crazy. If you'd like to browse some more Hogwarts Legacy content, I will be leaving a link to every Hogwarts video that I've done below in the pinned comment. Let's jump right into it. The first scene of the trailer starts us off in the Owlry of the school, and I do believe this is our first time actually seeing inside the Owlry, as you can see all of the owl perches where the owls rest in between their flights. Now the cool thing is that we do know that this will be a building that we can visit as a player, and we did get an outside shot of it in this trailer, but we also saw a distant shot of it during one of the gameplay reveals. The most important part of this scene, however, is when the witch gives a letter to the owl, and then says, Take this. Find them. Now clearly this is an important matter, as we can tell from the tone in her voice. We can actually see the reflection of this witch in the owl's eyes, but it's still really hard to tell who exactly it is. Now with that said, I'm fairly certain that this is Professor Weasley, who is not only the transfiguration teacher, but also the headmistress of the school. And some of you may recall, a century later, Professor McGonagall in the Harry Potter books was also the headmistress of the school, and McGonagall was responsible for sending out the Hogwarts acceptance letters to magical children. The owl then takes off and we get a beautiful aerial shot of the castle, and I'm going to quickly point out a few notable buildings. The greenhouses, the central tower, the astronomy tower, the grand staircase tower, Ravenclaw tower, and Gryffindor tower. Letting the owl continue on, we then get to see the viaduct courtyard, which brings you into the entrance hall, and the owl flies all the way into the famed Great Hall of the school, where some Gryffindor students are practicing magic at one of the tables. This character right here is Nat Sionai, one of the companion characters that transferred to the school, and this appears to be another Weasley, perhaps Hector Weasley, as the game devs did say that we may see a Weasley or two in the game. The owl then rudely flies through Gryffindor's house ghost, nearly headless Nick, who was a notable character in the Harry Potter franchise. And then we get this scene, where professors and students are gathering in what appears to be the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. They all seem to be a little panicked and confused. The audio is what is most important here, as we can hear a student say, Professor Weasley! And if I zoom in, you can see Professor Weasley right here. And then Professor Weasley says, we don't know what magic caused this. We don't know what magic caused this. So clearly something has happened at the school and it's causing a bit of a panic. If you've been paying attention to the forming narrative, you would already know that our character, the player character, has a very unique connection to a very powerful magic called ancient magic. Something clearly has happened at the school involving ancient magic, and the teachers and of course students don't really know what to do. I'll talk more about this when we get to the final scene of the trailer, so make sure to stick around. Other characters you may spot in this scene are Professor Hackett, the Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, and you can also see Poppy Sweeting right here, the Hufflepuff companion, Nat Sionai once again, and possibly Sebastian Salo, the Slytherin companion. In the next scene, we got another beautiful shot of the castle. I'm pretty sure that this is Gryffindor's tower right here, the grand staircase. And then we also got a glimpse of the headmaster's office, which branches off of the grand staircase tower. And then the owl flies over the clock tower area and then decides to get a little risky and dive right down into the forbidden forest. Here we can see two students in the forest fighting off spiders. I'm not sure if these are Arachomantulas, as Hagrid is the one who introduced that species to the forest, if I recall correctly, and Hagrid's character will not even have been born yet. But either way, these are some type of non-friendly spider. We also got to see this student cast the Glacius spell, freezing one of the spiders, and the other student casts Incendio, blasting the spider back in flames. After that rather low, risky flight trajectory through the forest, the owl then decides, what the hell, I might as well go tease a few dark wizards. You can see we have some poachers right here that have captured a hippogriff. All of the poachers then start casting the killing curse of Ada Kedavra at the owl, but this owl just ain't having none of it and dodges all of them. I don't really see anything too revealing in this scene, but it's cool to see a poacher's campsite, and looking at this tent right here gives me flashbacks to the tents that magical folk tend to use when camping at the Quidditch World Cup. They look small on the outside, but on the inside could be an entire house. This Giga Chad Owl then decides I've made it this far, I might as well now go piss off a dragon. 
If I had to guess, I would say that this is a Swedish short snout dragon, as that type of dragon is the dragon species that is native to the mountains of Sweden, which is where Hogwarts is. The Swedish short snout, say that seven times real fast, is also a silvery blue color in the lore, and it breathes a brilliant blue color flame. The students are battling this, actually I should say protecting themselves from this dragon, because all we've seen them cast is Protego, the defensive shield charm. It is possible that we do have to just straight up fight a dragon, but I think it's even more likely that we either encounter one by accident and we have to protect ourselves and try to run away, or we're actively trying to save a dragon from poachers. When thinking back to ancient magic, dragons actually have ancient magic imbued in their thick hides, which makes them an even more valuable, fantastical beast in this particular story. Now going back to the distant shot of the scene, it does appear as if the students and this dragon are at another poacher's camp. If we zoom in on this cage, you can see some sort of magical beast is being held here. Perhaps these students are on a mission to save Highwing, the hippogriff that we watched being taken by poachers in this scene. <laughs> Highwing. Speaking of the students, this appears to be the player character, which kind of doesn't make sense though, because of who the owl is delivering this message to. This may be Hector Weasley right here, and perhaps this wizard is Amit Thakar, the Ravenclaw student that we got a character card for. Not entirely sure. And then the final scene of the trailer, we got to see the owl drop off the letter to the intended recipient, which does appear to be the player character. A couple things to note here. This clock tower does appear to be Big Ben, which is the nickname of the Great Clock of Westminster in London, and we're talking IRL lore right now. So our player character most likely lives in London. This perhaps gives us some more hope for visiting Diagon Alley, perhaps? We already saw Gringotts Bank in the trailers, but whether or not we'll be able to walk around the alley itself is still unknown at this point. I would imagine after receiving this letter, the player would then go to the closest wizarding shop area to get supplies, which is of course Diagon Alley in London. Who knows though, perhaps the game just turns that part into a cutscene. The most important aspect of this scene though is that it seems like our character is the one who is being called upon to come to the school now that a mysterious type of magic is causing some sort of mystery or trouble. This is somewhat making me feel like our character was intentionally not given an acceptance letter when they were 11 years old, as we know that we are attending the school for the first time as a fifth year student. One of the biggest questions is why didn't we get our acceptance letter you know, five years ago when we should have been a first year student? Perhaps our unique connection to ancient magic is both the reason why we were not invited to attend the school five years ago, but it's also, or should I say four years ago? I gotta think about that math. But it's also the reason why we're now being invited to join the school at the age of 15. Maybe the Ministry of Magic feared our ability and wanted to initially suppress us and not let us become the wizard or witch that we could become, but it now needs us. I'm starting to get a little bit too deep into theory though, so I'll save that for another video. I should also note that during this scene, Hedwig's theme comes in for this part, which is a nice nostalgic touch for Harry Potter fans. But I have a feeling that it may be a copyright claim song for my video, so I'm going to leave it out. I will leave a link below to the full trailer. And the last thing that I want to quickly point out, is it just me or does the owl really look like it's on fire? Thank you so much for watching, and like I mentioned earlier, I will have in the pinned comment all of the Hogwarts Legacy videos that I've done, so maybe you can find one that you would like to watch next. I appreciate it, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.